Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me by watching this video. Today we are going to go over our income for the week. So part of that is going to be side income, but this is also a payday for me. So I'm going to combine um, any income that we have and just do it all in one video. Then I will be back to do the cash envelopes, which is where I organize my variable expenses for the week. And I will also be back to stuff sinking funds. So I do have some really, really good news. I am so ecstatic to tell you that my husband received three weeks worth of his unemployment. Now, I don't really know how to explain the situation, except that he finally was able to talk to a human uh, on the phone at the unemployment office, and she explained that they have been incredibly overwhelmed dealing with new employees that they brought on to help, all kinds of circumstances to add confusion to this situation that's already bad enough. Um, but he did qualify for the additional COVID um, money, which is an extra $600 a week. So because he was eligible for that, that really gave us a little bit of a boost, a lot of a boost, I think, um, in what we had expected to get. So the other part of that, um, there's still nine weeks unaccounted for, uh, and why she couldn't pay him for the entire thing or process the whole entire thing is beyond me. Um, she did say that she was able to uh, get the ball rolling for the past three weeks that he had applied for, but the previous nine weeks, dating back to, I believe it was April 3rd, when he first filed, he would have to file an appeal. Um, she said almost always the appeal gets approved because if everything is in order, then it's fine. I think it's going to be fine because everything is in order. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten paid for the last three weeks. So it's a bit of a frustration and a bit of a waiting game. And sometimes I think that maybe the reason why they're forcing people to do appeals and kind of um, force them to go through all these added steps is maybe to buy some time. I think all the states are at their maximum um, with claims and the money that they're paying out. So I almost think it's in an effort to buy time. I don't know. But we have um, other income to think about. Now, what I'm going to do with his unemployment is I'm going to, for the most part, add that to our emergency fund. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have really, really been trying to build up our emergency fund. Now, what that means to me is six months worth of my salary. So it really and truly should be six months worth of each of our salaries. Um, but at this time, just counting mine is basically overwhelming enough. So I usually get paid 15, 16, thereabouts times two, which is 30, 32 per month. Now that's net, that's take home. So if you multiply that by six, that's $18,192. So $18,200 is my goal. Um, but it's gonna take a while to get there. Now, this is going to get us there a lot faster, the unemployment, because that is how I plan to spend it um, or use it, uh, but it's still a huge, huge number. So this is, you know, baby steps, and I know Dave Ramsey usually tells people to put aside um, six months worth of expenses, bills and things like that, but our bills and expenses almost do equal my salary, especially because mid-July um, I will be seeing my pay cut for my job. So that's unfortunate, but nothing we can do about it. Right now I have 2,800 saved um, for my emergency fund. So I really, really wanna get to this number because I just don't know what the future holds. I'm very nervous about it. I don't know um, what's going to happen with my job. I know that we are due for another round of layoffs in the fall and that could affect me. And at that point, you know, that extra COVID money is supposed to be ending. It's supposed to be ending this month um, unless they do decide to extend it. So it, it could be a difficult situation. So I'm trying to be as prepared as possible. And sometimes that's not easy, but this is making it easier. So I, I am, you know, doing this video with a grateful attitude and a grateful heart. I, I really am. So let's just get into what's going on here. Now, I do have to say... 
But Grubhub was pretty good this week. I mean, I'm happy with it. But next week, it's going to be a disastrous number. If It's going to be hardly anything. I just have run out of time. I've run out of steam. Um, I have my brother is visiting uh, this week. And it's just a lot going on. And so I just don't feel like I have the time for Grubhub this week. Um, now, that being said... My husband cannot do that without me. And in some aspects, in some parts of my mind, he shouldn't even be doing it with me, but he does drive me a lot of the time. Um, just so we can go together just in case it's a sketchy area or you know, it's a big order or something like that. But um, yeah, I do like to have somebody with me. I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but Grubhub is a lot different than Instacart. So hopefully there should be no issues. So for Grubhub this week, I earned $907. Now, some of you may be asking, why doesn't your husband get his own Grubhub account? I would like him to do that. I would like him to earn some money this way, and he is totally open to that, uh, which is why he's so helpful to me. But the, the true reason is he is on unemployment. Um, he was laid off due to COVID and uh, the COVID situation, and um, I don't want anything to put that at risk. I don't want them to come back and say, oh, well, he signed up for this, so technically he is employed. I don't want any loopholes or glitches. Now, after his unemployment gets completely straightened out uh, yes you can make a certain amount of money if you're if you are on unemployment but at this time I just didn't want anything to complicate the situation I mean who knew what was gonna happen with Instacart and look what happened there so um, I I just feel like I needed to be smart about it all right so um, last week not even this week so last week was um, my nephew's paycheck and he did give me the rent money and I didn't do anything with it yet. And honestly, it's because I've been super busy and we need to upload his video too. So I need to edit that and get that uploaded. So that was 175, so I have that here. I have all this cash and I, I do agree, even though we do have a safe, I, I probably need to start putting this into some kind of account. Um, if there is an account out there that could pay me any type of interest, hopefully, or just for it to be more secure. So this is 100, 150, 160, 170, and 175. So that is the rent. I should have counted Grubhub with you guys. That was 907, and I do need to take taxes out of this. So 100... 200, 250, 906 and 907. All right, so as you can tell, I have a lot of 20s in there and that's just because I didn't even take the time to ask for certain denominations, which I don't know why I didn't do that. It would have made life easier, but I did not do that. So unemployment, you know what? First, let's talk about taxes. So 907 minus 20%, which is what I am putting aside at the moment, is 181.40. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna round up, and I'm gonna put aside 182. All right, so that will be that amount. Now I'm gonna stuff that envelope with you guys as well. So unemployment, let's go to that. So unemployment was 31.85 and change. So I just took out the 31.85, I rounded down. I thought that would be the easiest thing to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, fifty, three thousand, fifty, one, fifty, seventy, eighty, 50, 1, 50, 70, 80, 
$31.85. All right, so that's that. So like I said, this is going to go right into the emergency fund. Now, what I would like to do, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, I would really like to replace the carpet on the second floor of our house. Um, it is something that we really, really need to do. And it's just awful. I mean, it's awful. We have three pugs, you know, and there's only so much vacuuming and sweeping and things like that that you can do. I mean, at some point, you know, you do have to, well, we've cleaned it. We've had it clean. We've cleaned it ourselves. You know, we've, we've really tried to take care of it as much as possible, but it's just time. So I think that we need to look into that. And I was thinking, do I want to pay cash for that? Or do I want to see if they, wherever we go has a 0% financing situation? I would prefer to go that route. You know, that's kind of winning out in my mind, but at the same time, I, I don't want to have debt but I'm working so hard to put these funds together. It just pains me to think that I'm going to take money out of them already. So I think that probably what I'm going to do is we are going to do some shopping around and see what we can find. I think we're going to be in this house at least until next June. So, you know, with that in mind, I, I think another year's worth of wear and tear on this current carpet would be really um, I just don't want it it's I have so many allergies and stuff you guys know I mean you know sometimes you just have to replace and do upkeep but at the same time I do think it will be a better selling feature should we replace it you know and, and be able to sell our house next year so that is where I stand on that so also um this is a pay week for me and I did get paid early because of the holidays. So technically for my work, they recognize um, the 4th of July holiday on the 3rd. So I did get paid early, which is nice. And this officially is my last paycheck at this amount. So it's sad, <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy. Um, I, you know, got the pay cut and I'm gonna have to pay more in my health insurance. So it's gonna be interesting to see what it turns out to be. I've done the figures, but I, I want to see it in black and white on paper. I just, you know, I, I want to see it officially. And so I, I'm nervous about it and I'm disappointed. I have all kinds of emotions about it, but what I'm going to do, that money is in my account right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 1500, all of it toward my August bills. So that means I will be leaving that in my accounts. I'll be moving it into our savings just so it doesn't accidentally get touched or spent. And <clears throat> that's what I'll be doing. So 1500 on, let's see, July 2nd. All right, so for the total, the total that we need for our bills is 2650 right now minus 1500 so I need to come up with 1150 more by the end of the month, which I'll be doing, you know, for my next two paydays. We do have a third pay this month in July. So I will be um, using those two paydays to come up with that money and um, cover the bills for August. Now, when I write August bills here, that only includes like mortgage, utilities, expenses, cars, things like that. It doesn't include any type of variable expenses. So here are my variables. And I think what I'm going to do this week is I am going to stuff them for two weeks. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't know what's going to happen next week my, with my husband's unemployment and I can't count on it. So I hope that it just comes through as scheduled, but we don't know. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put enough money aside um, for two weeks worth of these expenses because, like I said, Grubhub is going to be almost nothing next week. So I'm not going to have enough to fund these. Um, so that's what I'm going to do in my next video. And I'm also going to be stuffing my sinking funds and giving you guys an update um, on that in a separate video and also coloring in my charts and talking to you guys, seeing how you guys are doing, if you're doing a chart, um, things like that. Um, so that's more stuff that we can talk about. And then of course I am hosting a giveaway right now. So, um, whoops, I needed to put a total down here a total for the week. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do that over here. So I am hosting a giveaway. Um, yesterday I uh, uploaded the video and it was to kick off Christmas in July. 
and this is um this is kind of gonna look like a ridiculous total because this doesn't always happen i mean we have gone 12 weeks without my husband getting paid so um you know playing catch up it looks like oh my gosh you guys brought in so much money like what are you crying about and i don't want it to seem like that um but we're playing catch up right now so it's 57 83 and then next week it should be much less so um let's add up unemployment 31.85 plus 907 40.92 here plus that equals that all right so i'm gonna write rent here So yeah, um, yesterday was the kickoff of that. So um, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at that, uh, definitely check out that video because it does have um, the rules for entering and I think it's gonna be a fun giveaway. And actually I have the giveaway right here just in case you missed it or you're interested in checking it out. And it is this um, holiday budget planner. And this is so nice, but I, I did a flip through of this and showed you guys everything that this captures. And it is really, really a nice little tool um, to help you through the holidays and get organized. So um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this budget with me. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Hopefully I will can get back to them in a reasonable amount of time. And um, of course, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope everybody is doing well, staying healthy. And I hope that you have a very happy 4th of July if you are in the States. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.